Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. I was hoping to get a Jackery or something similar for my powering my ham radio kit and other bits and pieces in my camper van, but um, they're too expensive, I just can't afford them. But what I've got is the remains of the power pack atom that I was given from my son. The electronics was, was faulty in it and not working properly and most of that got thrown away but the power pack inside itself or the battery pack is in good condition and um, I've done some tests on it and it seems to be okay and I've just had a look inside it and it's the 18650 cells and it's a 20 amp configuration and uh, it's a parallel series of the batteries and I've kept the plastic case for it sort of thing and I'm hoping to build one and um, yeah whether I can do it or not I'm not sure so what I've purchased is let's get them out I've got some terminals which I can use for the output you know these these terminals and because uh, most of my equipment has got these these four millimeter plugs on it and uh, I've purchased one of these I don't know whether you've seen these before let me just open the top it's like a cigarette so lighter socket thing but it's got a built in voltmeter and two USB outlets so that could be built into it so that would give me USB charging two USB charging and a voltmeter so that will show the state of the battery and then I need some form of charger for this now I've kept the charger in the power AC unit which is this unit here that gives uh, 15 volts at 4 amps okay there's that and then what I've also done is picked up some battery management system circuit boards and there's this one which is a 60 amp unit and a smaller one which is a 20 amp unit but I'm not sure which is going to be the best one to use because it's a 20 amp sort of battery pack so the first thought was to use the 20 amp one control board battery management system and um, you know these are the wires that connect to it onto there or I could use the 60 amp one but I'm, I'm only going to be drawing you know 10 amps probably maximum I don't know but there's confusing information on the um, internet and the data sheets to do with the power for charging you know the voltage for charging um, some of them say the maximum voltage for charging is 13.6 and this says it's 14 volts which is confusing but all the charges I've found like this one are 15 volts all of the ones I've looked at are 15 volts so um, I'm confused at the moment to what voltage it should be now this board has got the connections for the battery the output and a charge electrical connection on it on the 60 amp one the 20 amp it's got the battery connection and the input connection and the input and output connection on this board are the same so I not sure which one to go for it makes sense to put the 20 amp one in um, because that's got overcurrent protection so if it's overcurrent on that one 20 amp it will shut down on this one 
the overcurrent protection probably won't shut down till it's 60 amp but then the confusion also lies about the temperature some have got like a heat sink glued to those devices and on those four devices and some of them haven't and it don't really give enough information on the data sheet so I don't know um, maybe I should fit the 20 amp one first because both of them have got charging uh, protection over voltage but is that for individual cells or is it for the total assembly I don't know anyway this is part one of the project and it's just talking about it so if anybody's used these modules before if they could leave comments so thanks for watching please subscribe and like